Welcome to Mango Plays Games. If you're an avid viewer of my channel, you know I'm slightly obsessed with modding games, especially Stardew Valley, and you lot have advised me that you have the bug too. Actually, the most requested video on my channel is a guide for installing mods in Stardew Valley. Well, I'm finally doing a series on how to do just that. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If at the end of this you want to see some awesome mods in action, do check out my Stardew Valley Ridgeside playlist, linked in the cards in the top right. In the description, I will timestamp this video so you can skip to the section that will be helpful for you. Due to the vast number of mods and setups, this series will not be a comprehensive guide on how to fix problems with your specific mod setup or pack. However, do jump to the troubleshooting video for a short guide on where to go to get help or how to work out the problem for yourself. This series of videos is for Windows only. However, you can use Smappy on Android, Linux and Mac OS. So let's get started. Stardew Valley Mod API is a program that was created and maintained by Pathos Child, who is a very passionate and active mod developer in the Stardew Valley community. As I'm not a programmer, I unfortunately do not know the technical details of what it truly does. What I do know is it allows mods to communicate or fight for dominance. It also acts as a barrier preventing mods from asking for impossible things of the game. It tries and mostly succeeds with handling errors gracefully, as well as logging them for troubleshooting. Smappy can be downloaded from multiple sources, but I recommend you use the main webpage, smappy.io. Moving swiftly on to the installation of Smappy. Installation of Smappy is incredibly simple. Download the zip file from smappy.io, unzip the download file and then run the installation file matching the operating system you are using. I will only be showing the Windows installation. Once you run the file, Smappy will try to automatically work out where your Stardew Valley game is installed. As you can see here, Smappy does not know where I have Stardew Valley installed. Even if Smappy does show you a location, I do recommend you check where your Stardew Valley install is before accepting what Smappy has automatically worked out. You can find out where a game is installed by locating the game in your Steam library, right clicking it, selecting properties and then clicking on view local game files. If you need to update the installation location of Smappy, then copy the address from your file explorer Paste it into the Smappy console and hit enter, but don't close your file explorer just yet. Press 1 for installation. Once you've installed Smappy, go back to your file explorer where you found your Stardew Valley local files and you will notice a new folder called mods. This confirms that Smappy installed correctly. You now have a choice. You can auto run the modded version of Stardew Valley from Steam or launch manually. If you wish to launch Smappy from Steam, then you need to copy this section from the installer window. Make sure you copy the entire line, including both quotation marks and the percent command percent bar. Then go back to your Steam library and open the properties window for Stardew Valley. In the general option, paste the copy text into launch options. You can now close both the Smappy installer and your file explorer. Now you can run mods, but where do you find mods? My recommendation is to download mods primarily from Nexus Mods. If the mod is no longer supported or is out of date, you can regularly find that one of the amazing mod developers in the Stardew Valley modding community on Chucklefish forums or on the Stardew Valley forum has updated the mod. However, this can only happen if the original mod author has open sourced their code. To check if the mod has been updated by one of these amazing people, you can use smappy.io forward slash mods to search for the mod. A link to the mod download is provided on this page. Another website for mods that mod authors seem to be happy for us users to use is moddrop.com. A reminder, it does help the mod author if you either endorse or rate the mods you enjoy playing. I do not recommend downloading mods from elsewhere as it has been stated by many, many mod developers that their code has been stolen and uploaded to sites they do not approve of. Normally this is done for monetary gain by the person that stole the mod. Basically be it on Nexus, Chucklefish forums, Stardew Valley forums or Mod Drop. Have fun! Search for the types of mods that you fancy. Or if you want to follow along with my playthroughs, head over to my Patreon and check out the mods I use in my series. It has a full list of the mods I use in those playthroughs, with no paywall. So you found the mods you want. What now? Well the next thing you need to know how to do is to install these mods. There are multiple ways to install mods into Stardew Valley and prior to pulling this video together I did try all four that I could find. Vortex, Mod Drop, Star Drop and manually looking after it yourself. 
Vortex and ModDrop are standalone mod managers for many games. This means that they are unable to adequately cope with the specifics of modding Stardew Valley. At the time of recording, I cannot and will not recommend using Vortex or ModDrop in the current form for this reason. The final two ways of looking after mods is using the Mod Manager Stardrop or manually looking after the mods yourself. Originally, I recommended people look after the mod installations themselves. However, Stardrop is seriously amazing, and if you are new to installing mods to Stardew Valley, this is what I now recommend. So, to make this as easy as I can for you to get the information you want as quickly as possible, you have the choice of two videos in the playlist. One video will be focused on using Stardrop Installer, and the other will be dedicated to manually looking after your mod packs yourself. Choose the one that best fits your needs. If you want to know about troubleshooting mod installations, then click on the top right and you can jump straight to the troubleshooting video. One of the key things I know a lot of people are scared of is messing up their game files or saves. Regarding your game files, if it does all go wrong, you can return your game to vanilla very easily, either by uninstalling Smappy via its installer or by deleting your Stardew Valley folder, then validate your install via Steam. Either of these options will completely remove your mod files. Regarding your save files, I do recommend starting a new save for any mod pack you create, as some mods do not behave well when installed mid-playthrough. For example, Stardew Valley Expanded highly recommends that you start it on a brand new save. What you can do is copy your save files from users, your name, app data, roaming, Stardew Valley, saves, to a safe place on your computer before you install Smappy. Smappy can help you here as it does do a backup of your saves on the first launch of Smappy that day, but I would not rely on this only. The advice I will give you is take your own backups before making any changes to your mod setups. What I'm trying to explain is the whole process has been made very easy to reverse, and as long as you back up your saves, you have very, very little to worry about. So jump in and happy modding, don't fret. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this little guide or it helped you, please don't forget to like as it really does help my channel. Leave me a comment down below if you have questions or if I miss something that you want to see in the next Mango Explains. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing and all that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, a very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons for your amazing support. Their names are scrolling across the screen right now. Thank you so much guys, your support has meant I can start looking at doing videos like this. See you in the next one. Bye for now.